Do it today, Gunner. We are taking off the roof paneling. All right, and if we get that done, what are we going to try to do? I don't... Oh, are we going to try and do this, right? The right. ends? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, we're the Fergusons. A few years ago, we had a dream of traveling with Dad, and now we're making it possible. With four kids, two dogs, a lizard, and two adults, with the amazing help of Grandma, and a lot of trials and trepidations, some blood, some sweat, a lot of sweat, and maybe a few tears, we have managed to make our dream a reality. And we are inviting you to be a part of our family with KNS Unchained and Cutter. Thanks for joining us. Now, I didn't have an intro video for this one because I'm a goober apparently, but we used square bit screw heads. Um, the attachment portion uh, for the ceiling, we got lucky that it wasn't all rivets. I've seen some videos where these guys are having to deal with rivets all the way around and I am so sorry for you guys, but ours were not rivets. They were technically a Phillips head, but the screw bits were working uh, a whole lot better. There was less um, grinding that had to be done because of stripped out uh, screw heads. So on here you'll see us using two different uh, screw guns and um, a grinder. The grinder was only used on the ones that actually got stripped out but it was a thing that we did have to deal with. Um, safety glasses were worn, of course, and we were able to get the ceiling taken down. It just took us a while. We use loppers to also cut the heater lines, uh, heater hoses, um, once we got them pinched off. So that was part of a process that I didn't get to show you last video. I apologize for that, but that was um, how we got them disconnected so that we could get the heater, the back heater out. <laughs> When grinding the stripped out screws, uh, it is important that you grind to where you're just touching the sheet metal on either side of the screw so that you know that you've gone far enough in. Um, otherwise, the head will not break off the way you want it to. So you'll see me checking his grinding and then we go back and we grind some more. That's what that's all about.
it was raining again so we had to do this with all the windows up so it was definitely hot and muggy again lots of sweat so yeah So we just got back from our vacation. We I'm going to start editing and get back to work. I'm going to go get my uh, uh, flashlight. I'll be back. Hey, Grandma. What? What you doing? Taking out screws. Taking out screws? Yeah. <laughs> you silly. We need a better lighting idea. I, that um, craftsman light's over there on the table. I've just gotten so used to wearing one of these at work. But I like it better. I don't have to do it, but I mean, like, really illuminate lighting would be better. Sometimes. It's just so much cooler to do it this time of night. It was hot sitting in this tin can today. I bet. All right. Today, we have rearranged our windows so that we know what's going where. They're all marked. We have them all positioned how we want them. And we are taking off all of the side panels so we can start tearing out that insulation. Huh? I didn't hear you. My ears are still ringing. Earplugs. Calling ahead. OSHA. <laughs> Calling OSHA. Okay. So we pull off the panels. We put the windows where they're going to be. Yeah. We have three small panels left on the ceiling and the front piece. Right? Figure here in a minute, we'll just pull insulation for now. Okay. Yeah. Start bagging insulation, it'll kind of help out a little bit. With the hot? I don't think it's going to help with the hot. Well, it will just help with the breathing. Huh. That's an alarm, right? I got to go back and track wires so I can start redoing the wiring. I got to set it up. Make sure I need to get Gunner out here and start pulling the wire loose. Being exposed to these wires for me, I'll be able to get rid of what we don't need and then I'll bring back what we do need and re loom it on a small loom. Text pipe. Something like that. Maybe. I wouldn't worry about looming until we know what, where exactly it's going to go. Uh, oh, wait, pause. Route it all this panel okay so we still need to get that panel which that we're gonna do that here in just a second according to Kyle <laughs> so I have three of those and a bigger one 
and a mother-in-law that are all going to be helping rip all this nasty fun stuff out of the ceiling and then we'll be good to go huh. gotta put that window back in it's over there what what Before, it must not have been important then, huh? The only time they ask for dad is when they're asking where mom is. That's very true. No. Or, or if we're in two different vehicles, they will still text me from his car to tell me to tell the other one whatever instead of saying, hey dad, take care of this. They call me or text me in the other vehicle on, to handle it. It was on the agenda. We had everybody wearing gloves and face masks while we were pulling off insulation. We also used some Skin So Soft which is almost impossible to find anymore but leave it to grandma to have so that we would be able to reduce the amount of insulation and fiberglass getting into the skin so that nobody had to worry about being itchy Again, welcome to Oklahoma. What do you say? Uh, glad it's over. Glad it's over. Ooh, that was a blast. Can't wait to do that again. Yeah. Yeehaw! At least putting the new one in, new stuff in, is not so bad. forget to like and subscribe you can follow us on facebook kns unchained and we hope to see you soon